Hello and welcome to the Scratch Coding class. In today's video we are going to be building a brand new robot and make sure to subscribe to the channel and let's get started. Okay so I'm going to go through all the materials that we haven't covered in the last six videos of the series. So we've got this piece and this piece basically is a friction pin that can fit through two beams on one side and then one beam on the other side as you can see. Uh, this piece is sort of like a connector so you can fit two pins in and then you can also fit an axle in. And then we also have this and this is basically just a right angled connector that we will be using. And we have uh, two long beams here and one side it has a hole in it for pins and the other side is for axles. We have this piece and this is basically a frame for the robot. We can uh, insert loads and loads of pins and beams onto this. And we also have an angular beam right here. And uh, this piece is called a knob wheel and we are going to be looking at gears today. This is going to be our first introduction to gears and this is the first type of gear that we will be using. So these are knob wheels, very important. And finally we have this piece and this is basically an axle connector so you can actually connect multiple axles together. And I think that is all the pieces covered. I will put a full materials list in the description below but let's just jump straight in. So I want to create a medium motor mechanism for the robot first. So medium motor, then we need to attach a knob wheel inside it and then it should be like this. And then what we need is a nine long axle and then we need to put in an angled beam at the very very end like so. And then we need to put in this longer L shaped beam at the very very top. We need to put that in the axle. Then this one, face it like that, put it through the very very bottom, knob wheel goes in and I just need to push this down there we go and then I need to put in two spacers and then we just need to mirror what we did on the other side so that goes in that goes in and then our uh, angle beam goes in and there we go that is this part complete and I need both of these to touch each other both of the knob wheels and basically this will create a nifty mechanism because right now the motor can only turn clockwise and anti-clockwise and we want it to lift sort of a wall up and down so it can sweep objects when programmed so gears are used to change the direction of motion so I think uh, we can do this by putting a friction pin in at the very very end over here so let's say I put one here and then I need to get both gears touching and then we need to put this in and this is definitely the hardest bit there we go and then we need one on the other side so this might fall apart I just need to secure it and uh, so far I think yep the gears are touching it is working so I just need to rotate this so it goes down and then now what we need to do is we need to actually create a wall for a robot uh, over here. We need to connect them using an axle. But actually I maybe want to make this wall a bit taller because we are going to be uh, sweeping some big Lego pieces and we don't want them to be escaping. So we need a beam here and another beam over here. And then we need to get these two long beams and then we are just going to put in one of these at the very top facing like so and then we are just going to put in a friction pin then we have got this beam we're going to put that at the very very end and then what I need to do is I need to put this in like so there we go and then we just need to mirror that on the other side so I'll see you when I finish that okay that is definitely complete now and then we need to get this axle connector we need two five long axles and we don't actually have a ten long uh, axle in the kit which is why we're using an axle connector and then we need to connect the bottom ones so the bottom two beams together with this axle like so but as you can see it can still move about so to fix this problem we need a yellow spacer here I'm just going to slot that in then we need a yellow spacer on the other side and if I stop dropping it that would be nice put that in and then I just need spacers at the very very end so we can put a spacer here and then a spacer here and 
I just need to adjust these spacers so it is at the correct length and there we go it is all connected now I need to just repeat that up here but instead we can just use a 9 long axle because we don't need any spacers so we can just put that in and there we go that is basically our wall complete so it can lift up and down like so and then what we need to do now is we need to actually attach uh, the beams and the medium motor together so let's do that so we are going to need this piece right here we're going to put that in at the bottom of the motor there and then we need a two beam so we need to fit that in like so and then finally we just need to put this in on top and we need this on the second to last hole there we go and i'm just going to repeat that on the other side then we need to attach uh, two uh, 11 beams uh, onto here and then one onto here so we need we need a blue uh, friction pin and axle get that in there put a friction pin here and then we just need to put this beam in and I'm just going to put that in at the very very end here and we just need to repeat that on the other side so one in here another pin in here and then we can put that in and that is basically all our medium motor mechanism complete and we can just test it out so we can just lift up and down and that works perfectly and now we're going to move on to building something else so we are going to build our large motors now and this should be really really easy we have done this since the very very first video of the series so i'm not going to go over this too much so just to recap put in a five axle in like so put one and a half spacers and then what we need is we need to put the wheel in but we need to actually build the wheel first so rubber put that in like so and then we want this uh, flat end on the outside so we want to put in uh, the hollow end in the inside and then we just need to attach that in like so push it in there we go that is one motor complete I will do the other motor by myself so we need to attach both motors together so we are just going to put a frame in with the motors on the outside so we are going to need these two red pieces to secure it on each side so we just need to repeat that on the other side and then after that what I need to do is I need to put some pins on top of the frame because I want to attach another frame on top of that to make sure that we can get the medium motor and the brick attached so to do that I am going to put pins here and here and these are blue pins and then I'm just going to put two black pins here and then we need two blue pins right here and then we need to fit this in like so and then after that I am going to attach a 13 long beam right here and I just want to attach two pins here and here and then uh, we need to attach a beam at the very very end over here and I'm going to use three friction pins for that now so we need one two three and put that in perfect and then i need to put these l pieces in so we're just going to put one in here then one in there now we need to get our medium motor mechanism put these angle pieces in one here then one here then we need to attach that in so this is definitely the hard part so in like so then we need a friction pin here to connect these L pieces together then we need another one on the other side and that is once I get this in that is our medium motor mechanism uh, attached onto our robot as you can see right here turn the robot around and then we need to put in this 11 long beam uh, and you need to put pins in on the correct places to do so there we go and now what I need to do is I need to create a third wheel for this robot because right now it is not balanced so we need to make the wheel first there we go then I need a seven long axle and this is very similar to what we did in the fourth video but instead we are just using a seven long instead of an eight long axle then we need our L shaped beam on the fourth hole from the left like that and then I need one and a half spacers 
and then I need to put in the wheel on like this push that down to save space then I'm just going to put a yellow spacer in then I need to repeat uh, what I did to the beam and then finally I need a red spacer at the very end and then the wheel moves like so and now I need to attach that onto here so I am going to get two pins and we are going to use this piece put that in repeat that on the other side and then what we can do now is we need, can attach one of these uh, blue pins and axles in here and then one on the other side and we probably want to attach it to this uh, seven long beam and then we can attach a seven long beam onto uh, this part and I think that's a good idea so I'm just going to attach uh, some pins so I think that should be enough pins and then I just need to put that in and this is definitely the hard part so get that in, get that in, get that in, get that in and now we need to attach our brick onto the robot so we're going to get two pins, put them here get another 13 long beam put that uh, along here like so, if I can get that in there we go and then what I need to do is I'm just going to get two more pins put one at the very very end of each one like that and I probably want another beam on this side so it evens out and then we're just going to repeat the same thing one pin at the very very end of each one and then next we can get our brick and I want to attach it in like this so now we just need to get these pins into the brick so I'll see you when I finish that so we need to get our sensors attached now and um, where you attach them is entirely up to you you can put them on the brick if you want I'm just going to put it in where the media motor is so I'm just going to put one here uh, a pin here and then we need to go over to the other side and copy that so one here one here and then I think I'm just going to put the touch sensor uh, to the left of the robot like so and then I'm just going to get the color sensor uh, to the right of the robot and that is basically the entire robot complete now I just need to attach the wires and that is our entire robot complete and uh, the wires definitely took quite a lot of work and now uh, we need to test this robot so I'm just going to turn the robot on and it appears to have actually miscalculated with the pieces so we actually have two extra pieces and uh, I didn't really actually know that but uh, at least we have some spare pieces now and I'm just going to wait for this robot to turn on so if you press right twice uh, go down to motor control you can actually test this robot without using scratch as you can see the media motor works and then we can test motors B and C there we go and we can actually test the sensors so if we go out go to port view uh, we can see the touch sensor press right we can see the light sensor perfect that is our robot complete and that is going to be it for today's video of the scratch coding class but in the next video of this series we will be programming this robot so you don't want to miss that so make sure to subscribe and leave a like if you enjoyed and i will see you in the next video bye for now